Hello everyone, I am the one and only Boiler and I welcome you to episode 31 of my Crusader King 3 Let's Play. Yeah, um, what you are looking at right now is actually how far we uh, need to zoom out here so that all of uh, Burns domains fit on the screen. Because it's no longer just that uh, blob here in uh, Europe, it's also a little bit up here, a little bit up here in Denmark. And of course, uh, the conquest of Northern Africa that we did in the last episode. So, um, yeah, so uh, we are spreading out. Um, I not particularly like that. I mean, this one is fine. I decided on that um, to get that. But this stuff up here is just stuff that some of our vassals gained for some reason, probably on inheritance or something. Um, this as well uh, down here. But we, we had that for quite a bit now. Um, yeah, I don't really like that, but um, yeah, well, w eventually I wanna I wanna paint all the map in our color, so uh, it doesn't really matter. At some point, we will catch up to these um, islands or whatever you wanna call it, these exclaves. Uh, yeah, we will incorporate them into our main territory at some point. So, um, but what do we need? To focus on right now um, we need to focus on northern is Italy because it is a mess in the last episode we conquered the uh, duchy of Lombardy what well what was left of it we had already had a bit of it but uh, we conquered the rest except for that little bit here but we will correct that uh, I guess in this episode uh, but we really need to sort now all that stuff out because um, as it stands currently I own the duchy but it is, as you can see up here, um, it is one too many. I should give it to someone. Uh, I also am above my domain limit, which will hurt us quite bad if we don't do anything about that. And the problem is, I, I mainly got that to um, sort out our inheritance problems. Because as, as you can see, if I go here... Uh, we will lose a bunch of stuff on inheritance, which is not good. Um, so we will we, we really need to uh, give this away to our uh, youngest son here, uh, Prince Herman of Bern. So um, he needs to get some titles of his own, so so that he then can um, well it drops out of our uh, inheritance here. Um, and the way I plan this is to give him a bunch of counties down here and of course then the uh, dodgy title. Problem is, I only own one of these, so uh, this little bit up here. And I will conquer this one, I will give that to him as well. Um, but the problem is, uh, this needs time, so we will need a little bit of time to conquer this and we are still above our domain limit, so uh, yeah, I'm not comfortable about that so I will probably give him this right away uh, and then we'll conquer that give him that and we'll ha hang on to the uh, dodgy title for the time being until we he has enough counties so that we can just give him the uh, dodgy title because if we give him the title right away we will then no longer be able to uh, revoke titles and stuff down here which we need to do um, in order to get more of these counties now I try to figure this out off screen. It's really a, it's really a mess, um, and we'll probably face some rebellions. Um, but I actually feel quite comfortable about this because we have eleven thousand troops, um, and we have a bunch of gold, so we could also hire some mercenaries if things go really bad. Um, we do have a few factions here um, that are not really up to strength right now, but might get there um, at some point so um, yeah we have to watch out for that uh, our dude here is 59 years old he is melancholic so we'll have to watch out uh, I don't know how much longer he will stay with us and we need to sort this out before he dies obviously so yeah there's quite a uh, quite a lot of stuff going on right now so yeah let's get started with this um i think the first thing i will do is now give this away uh the county of brescia to uh our youngest son where is he uh this is the princess where is our youngest son i need to click on here yes so here is prince herman i will grant him um the title of 
Brescia. Uh, where it is? Where is it? Yeah. So uh, I will grant him this title. Yeah. Like so. Now, um, what? Yeah, I don't really. What did that give me? Hmm, don't really know. So um, now let's take a quick look at our succession. So um, he still will get uh, the Duchy of Lombardy, but nothing else, it would seem. So that's already enough for him. But he gets, he now gets a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't really know why. I mean, he. He's the guy who already owns this, so I don't really know why he gets... I, I probably need to give away some more stuff to him to sort that out. Um, so now, right now he owns this, and I would really like him to get a little bit more stuff. So this guy here is a known criminal, so if we revoke his title, uh, the only one who will uh, complain is he. It will not. It will. It will not bother anyone else, so... I will just do that and he will decline which means he will then rise up in rebellion but we can deal with him easily I mean he has a thousand troops so we'll do that he hates us anyway it doesn't really matter and no one else will object object because he's a known criminal so um, yeah let's see what happens yeah he uh, he uh, refuses obviously uh, we will raise all our armies and just crush the guy uh, very easily. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looney is on the siege. I don't care. So, um, I have quite a bunch of armies up here. Okay, so let's get two of these because they will be enough. And let's um, get the other ones over here. And then we will crush him. An accident. Prince Dieter's apology sounds genuine, but the error seems almost too ludicrous to be real. You see, my liege, my spy master explains, it was simply a matter of sending the wrong letter with the wrong courier. He holds his breath. So that is how the incrimination, incriminating documents were lost. So what is happening here? Uh, someone in your realm has learned of... Uh, one of your secrets. I don't think I have that many bad secrets. Um, and I will use the opinion of him. Everyone makes mistakes, Dieter. So uh, the same outcome. But uh, I gain a hook on him. That might be useful. So yeah. I gain a hook on him. So that's good. So let's wait until these armies converge. Then actually... Put them together, move this army down there, and then once we have the other one uh, combined up there, we'll uh, get these two together as well, and we'll go down and siege his lands. So we have another faction created against you, against me. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Surety of supply. Part of commanding an army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, drink and camp gear for long campaign, uh, campaigns. To this end I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. So we, we had these, uh, this event a couple of times, so let's see what our options are. Um, this has a not too high success chance. Um, this costs us a bunch of money. Uh, and then we'll have a custom hostile county attrition minus 10, supply duration plus 10, that's actually not that bad. Uh, supply capacity plus 100, that's the same, so we can pay for it. Actually, I don't want to lose money and this is, this is good enough, so we'll uh, do that. Passionate interests. My little firebrand Queen Beatrix is playing absent mindedly my hair as she tells me about the rumors at court. Though I know little of such things, I find myself myself mesmerized by her passion for a subject. Her beautiful eyes are positively glowing and the deep insight behind her words is clear. Even a novice like me. Uh, even to a novice like me. I think I could listen to her forever. Um, so, uh, Beatrix, I think I love you. Um, so, um... Well... 
she's too old to uh, have any more children, so we could probably go with that. Passionate interest. So um, she doesn't love. She doesn't love us. Okay. My declaration of love catches Beatrix off guard. Her hands become still in my hair, and I can feel her heart pound against my cheek. My own is beating just as hard. I do care for you, Johan, and I join our time together. Can we just leave it at that? After an awkward apology, I dive back into the conversation about the rumors at court, desperate to dispel the tension between us. So, um, at least I gain some lifestyle experience. Um, so there's a dangerous faction. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this one, uh, Crown Authority. So military power. Um, okay. Uh, oh. Can I see who's in there? So there's quite a bunch in there, actually. Um, I need to do something about that. <laughs> I really need to do something about that. So, who is the one we can convince? Okay, Count Heinrich. But he isn't really that strong. So we need to do something here because it doesn't look too... Uh, Jesus Christ, 123. Discontent, 3%. So they need 26 months to uh, send an ultimatum, so we'll just leave them for a moment um, and hope we can sort that out uh, before that. Now the problem is they will finish that siege before we get there. Uh, no, they are fleeing. Quite satisfied. Prince Constantine has been met been asking me for a spinning top for a long time and I told him I would get one for him in three months t if he displayed more focus in his studies. He responded that he was fine with his current dedication to his studies, reward or no reward. So, uh, he will he will be content. Uh, who is that? It's not my primary heir, is it? Mm, no, my primary heir is this one. So, um, Oh, actually, he shouldn't be fighting. Oh, uh, let's just have a look here. He shouldn't be fighting. Where are my knights? Um, Werner? No, Werner should be fighting. It's okay. No, 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 it's okay. Werner is our illegitimate son. Yeah, so uh, where is the real heir? Prince Alexander. So Constantine is second in line. So if he... Okay. So, okay. Um content so I, I don't want the stress so I will just give him that because it doesn't really matter um, now they are trying to get away what do we do about that so we can can only siege that one county there so um, try to chase them blackmail I know that you are Prince Otto's real oh did we kill someone okay um, yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> it must be a few weeks. Uh, it must have been a few weeks ago. Uh, if you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Um, he gets a weak hook. Um, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't want people to know, so I will accept. So he has now a hook on me. Jesus Christ. Could you just please stay here? So, um, let's go there. Um, okay, they now stay there for some reason. Um, and wait for me to kill them. So that is a neutral army, so yeah. Fascination discovered. Uh, coinage! So we discovered coinage. Let me just have a look at that real quick. Uh, where's the coinage? What does that give us? Uh, development growth plus 10%. Okay. Uh, what is that? Mm -hmm, okay, that's not too bad. Direct vassal opinion. That's actually pretty good. Uh, naval speed. I don't care about naval speed. Okay, prestige cost minus 10. Okay, can use individual to shoot. Okay, that's not too bad. Um... Mm-hmm. Movement speed. Um levy size, battlements. 
Mangronels, so that's a better siege unit. Uh, Bailiffs, Domain Limit plus one. That, that one we have already. So you know what? Actually, we can't choose anything here. So I want to go with uh, Stammesherzogtum because, um, yeah, because that gives us more vassal opinion. We can always use that. So yeah, we do that and we win that battle. Oh, that's great. So we will actually enforce our demands. So be it. And uh, now we did it. So uh, let's get away with this. Uh, now this is over with the stand all armies. Yes, please, because they cost us a lot of money. And um, now we imprisoned him, and we still need to revoke his title. So uh, let's try that again. He will now accept, obviously. To the Vile King Johan. Now we are again over our, over our domain limit, which is not a problem because we will give this away to him. Um, grant titles. County of Parma. Grant. And that's done. So now, how does our succession look? Um... Well, basically the same. Uh, we need to give him a duchy, and he 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 gets a, a whole duchy. Well, if we give this duchy away, that should be all right, then, shouldn't it? Um, as now we can we can then conquer this for him. Um, he owns a, a bit of land somewhere else. No, that's the only title he has: county, duchy of Trans Transcarpathia. But he doesn't really. Uh, own that so okay for now we'll just declare war on him to get this title as well and then we should be done with it um declare war uh seize the uh, county of tortona he has two allies who are his allies who the hell are his allies so let me just have a look here um so this is one ally he has and then the other one is that up there, but yeah, that shouldn't be a problem because they are not as um, strong as I am, and they need to get here first. So um, actually, we will we will declare that war and hope everything goes as we want it. And yeah, we'll raise all our armies again. So and wait for them to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know enemy ally and stuff. So, um, it seems our armies are assembled. So, let's get down there. Actually, let's get down there. So, uh, just hope this went, uh, this will go well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we have, we have quite the army where we have almost. 13,000 troops, so we shouldn't have a problem there. Um, Marshal perk available. So, uh, let's see what we can get here. Uh, spouse opinion, yeah. Okay, unlock what's the next one. Peace acceptance. And then the final one will, of course, be this one. Yeah, okay. So they, for some reason... Oh, I know what they want to do. They want to... Uh, uh, pair up with the uh, with the other army, obviously. Acquaintance taken prisoner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, this means. Do you have the? Um, no, you don't. So uh, we'll just keep you there. The enemy of Rome. Oh, oh. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Barca during the Second Punic War. Known as the enemy of Rome, Hannibal's growing uh, crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae. Where he, uh, where his army of roughly fifty thousand outmaneuvered and encircled the larger uh, eighty-six thousand strong Roman army, surrounded and unable to retreat, only three thousand Romans survived the massacre. Like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies. Hannibal was a true master of Fabian tactics, but he was a fool fighting his hopeless war. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can we get of here? Out of here, um, enemy fatal casualties. Oh, logist 
Lochistian. Um, supply duration plus 100. Uh, for some reason this gives me stress. Actually, I will annihilate my enemies, so... I think that will be more useful. So, let's have a look at my army. Let's first put them together, then split them up again. And see which one has the uh, siege weapons. It's actually, that's... Uh... Well, which one is it? It's not this one, so it's this one, yeah. So go there, siege this, and you can just... I don't know, uh, stay here and wait. So this is a neutral army, so we'll just wait for our enemies to come to us, so um, yeah. We don't really need to go to them. What's that? Uh, this is a neutral army. Yeah, so uh, this should be easily done. Um, increase the benefit dynasty members. No, we can declare what? Uh, we have... Uh, okay, I can declare a guardian for her. I will just do that. This is my daughter, so uh, yeah, our queen can look after her. Educate child, so that's done. And yeah, now of course this siege alone will probably not do it. So we have swayed our good duke, uh, however he's called, um, Michael. So who else should we sway? We still have this uh, faction, don't we? No, we no longer have this faction, so um, yeah, not a problem. So we will sway whoever has a lot of troops and um, yeah, actually him because he doesn't like us too much and yeah we'll we'll try to sway him uh, start that scheme because we could really use his support so what is that this is a neutral army now this now this is uh these are enemies or enemy armies yeah these are enemy armies so um they are now sieging this county down here, but we'll just ignore that for the moment and wait until that siege there is finished and actually let's start combining these armies oh we actually we, we already have won the war um so bar on the siege prisoners taken in siege yeah siege one disbanded uh we got a little bit of money from that now we have no uh prisoners that we could ransom um but so let's just have a look here so this is his wife okay can we at least ransom one of these um so actually try that and see what that does to our war score it doesn't do anything to it so um yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that and we will then enforce our demands, so be it, and that's it. So now, ah, okay, so now he's our, um, we, we don't really gain the uh, title, we just uh, gained him as a vassal. That's not what I wanted actually, but um, yeah, um, so let's let's have a look here. And I can't revoke his title, can I? Uh, revoke title... Uh... Okay, can I revoke this? Actually no, so he's a duke. He's still a duke, which kind of sucks because he doesn't have any kind of... of touch. He, uh, he just holds this... Jesus Christ, um... Now that is that is a special situation. Now he's a duke, um, but he's also my vassal, which is weird. Um, not the rightful leash. So how the hell can he still be a duke? He he only holds this one. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, so what's that? Every woman for herself. Luitgard is filling nervously with her sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. What is she doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you in private. I have discovered something something very interesting. Luitgard has uncovered a secret of Queen Beatrix's. She is willing to share it with me if I let her off the hook. 
Uh, I swear after this you will owe me no longer. Um, yeah, actually. So my... <laughs> that is great. So my wife, who who looks like a man... I mean, she looks like a man. Be 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 honest here. She looks she looks like a man, and now she's a cannibal. She is a where is where is that? That should be somewhere in here. She is a cannibal. Um, if I read this right, let me have a look. So let me have a look at my secrets here. Uh, where are my secrets? So these are the secrets. Yeah, she's a cannibal. So, <laughs> so we have an archbishop who is uh, who is a non-believer, and uh, and our queen is a cannibal. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but we'll just can we blackmail him for something? Hmm. What what happens? So I will gain a strong hook on him, but I don't really know what I can do that. I can do with that. So we'll just leave it. Um. Yeah. So now we have a problem. Now we we I thought we might get this county, but uh, no. We now have a vassal who is a duke, but he doesn't ha he he doesn't actually hold. He has he has zero vassals. He doesn't hold any land in the duchy, but he still has the duchy, which is insane, if you ask me. Um, and I can't just I can't just revoke his title because then mm, Jesus Christ. So you know what? Uh, let's let's get a little bit of money off of him. Um, actually, I can't. Oh, I can. I can ransom him for one hundred gold. I will do that. Um, but I can't ransom her for some reason. Um, yeah, don't know. So what do I do here? Because the problem is, if I actually let's try this. Let's try. Let's try the following. So we still have the problem that he that he needs uh, the dochi. He needs to get this dochi, and we'll actually give it to him. Um, Grand title, the Duchy of Lombardy. Yeah, that's this one. Um, so grant this title. So now let's have a look at what this does. Now he doesn't own all of it. This one is still independent. Can we grant him this vassal? That's that's the question uh, that's that's at hand here. Can we grant him this vassal? Um let's have a look again at our succession what has this so we still lose the duchy of upper burgundy for some reason we will we will still lose this duchy and i don't want to lose this duchy ah jesus christ why will i lose i i understand these kind of but so we have two duchies kingdom of burn duchy yeah, we have two duchies. Uh, we have the duchy of uh, Trans Urania and the duchy of Upper Burgundy. And he, this guy, he already has a duchy, duchy of Tunis. So why does he get a second duchy? I don't really, I really don't get this. Why does he get a second duchy out of this? I mean, yeah, probably because our, uh, yeah, okay, our main guy will get a kingdom and a duchy, and the other guy will get two duchies. Probably that's the reason. So what can we do here? Um, so he doesn't really own all of Tunis. Can we go to war with this guy for uh, the uh, county of May Mecher Mecherda, whatever? Uh, declare war. Um, seize the yeah, seize that one. So he's vastly inferior. He has one ally. Doesn't really care. Um, it will cost me some prestige, but I don't really care about that. I will just go to war, raise all my armies again, and I will probably self say um, sh um, sail. Uh, yeah, sail half of them over to Africa. So ransom accepted. That's great. Ransom accepted. That's also great. And then we have an enemy ally. And let's have a look at this war. Um, so the troops. Where do I see that? Yeah, they only have 3,000 troops, so it's it's more than enough if we send out half our army. So now where are our... Where the hell are our... Um, 
Yeah, there are. There are they. There they are! Our onogers. Yeah. So let's get these these guys together. Then let's send them all the way over here and see what they can do. And then let's send the other guys um, down here. Just so uh, they can um, go over to Africa if needed. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So there's there's a fight going on over there. Um, let's in the meantime see what we can do. So we have maximum crown authority, um, succession law. Can we change anything here? Uh, yeah, I can't do that because I have a lot of uh, vassals who have a negative opinion of me, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, we'll have to do something about that. Um. I have a lot of money actually, could I probably spend some bribes around? Hmm. I will see about that. So this is working. Um, I don't see any enemy troops, so I don't really know where they are right now, but we are still not, we don't have a problem right now, so uh, we don't have a problem with our 6,000 troops, we are really, uh, we have more than enough soldiers to uh, deal with these guys. So now there is a siege going on there. Um, can we change that? Yeah, we can change that. Now of course they will have a uh, huge penalty going on land di directly into fighting, but this army is so much bigger it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do that and now go there and siege that. Uh, now we have captured someone. This means we can go and ransom for 50 gold. We'll do that. There's another one for three. Yeah, we'll ransom this uh, as well. Uh, now we have... What do we have here? Ransom for 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Ransom accepted. So we'll get as much money as we can. Uh, oh! Enemy ally joins war. How does it look now? Yeah, no problem here. So, yeah, we are well off and um, that should be no problem here. And I will give this uh, to him. Now he already has, he will become really powerful with the uh, when he also gets this, so um, yeah, we'll have to watch out for him then. But yeah, he needs he needs more titles uh, because he really, yeah, because he really um, will just snack off some of our titles otherwise. So we'll have to deal with that. And this war will be over right about not now. Uh, we'll need to do another siege down here, it would seem. So uh, we'll do that. And we have another prisoner. This means we can get some more money going. Yeah. The snake at court. I recognize the anxious look on my servant's face. He is in here to bring me bad news. My lord, you must come quickly. Count Albrecht of Vendome was just seen leaving the chambers of your daughter, Emily. Uh, this can only mean one thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't really care about that. Prisoner taken. Yeah, yeah, ransom accepted. Um, we have more ransoms we can do here. We can do for 10. We can do another for 100. Now we can do for 100. So um, we can do for another 25. Ransom accepted. Ransom accepted. And we'll wait for this one. Yep. So uh, let's get all the money we can out of this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, no! <sighs> this will be a problem. This will be a problem. Wow, um, yeah. 
So King Johann of Bern has found peace in Christ's embrace at 62 years of age. He died of old age. At 62! I mean, I, I realize this is the Middle Ages, but at 62 you die of old age. Yeah, okay. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could still not outsmart death. King Alexander ascends the throne at the throne merely 15 years old. He will need to rely on the council during his first years of rule. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, dynasty head has changed. That is not good. Faction created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we at least we have a bunch of money. And this war should be finished in a second. So we have a dangerous faction. We have an empty council positions. We have a ton of empty council positions. So, um, let's deal with that. So we, we don't have a spouse right now. Um, so we'll have... Oh, our, our vassals do not like us. So who is the best um, chancellor we can get? Let's find that out. Prince Dieter of Bern. So he is quite powerful. Yeah, we'll actually get him. Yeah, we'll get him. Uh, he will like us then a little bit better. Um, then we have a steward. Uh, we are in need of a steward. Let's see who that is. Duke Hupold, who is also not... Uh, he's not that powerful, actually. Who is the second in line here? Um, that's this guy. He has way more troops, so it's more important for us to keep him happy. So we'll get him there. Uh, then we need a marshal. Uh, who is best at this? Uh, now, of course, he he will not do because he's not a uh, a duke. But we have this duke here. Uh, he's not that powerful. Who is the next in line? Vigoric, mayor, duke. Uh, he's not good. Um, let's so let's get Duke Odilo. So at least he likes us. And then we need a spy master. Um, who is best at spying? No, our mother. But uh, that's that will do us no good. Um, actually, Duke Ferdinand, he is somewhat powerful and we'll get him. So what's the problem here? Uh, short reign, uh, not right for leash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, you're not betrothed. Um, we'll deal with that after the war, actually. Um, and yeah, okay, we, we do have a little bit of a problem here. So we did lose, uh, we did lose this and we lost it oh dear oh jesus christ oh dear brother oh man that is not good we need to get this away from him but this will oh this will be a problem now we could of course kill him he is not married he is not um he doesn't have any heirs uh, because of this so if he dies we will be um, we will actually be his, uh, the heir of whatever he owns, which could be a good thing. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, see about that. We'll first finish that war. Um, and now, of course, we will not give this to him. We'll give this to someone else and just uh, transfer transfer the, the vassal. So, uh, prison is taken. Um, actually, I will ransom whatever prisoners I have before I end the war um, let me see um, these are all oh Jesus Christ these are all the same for a favor yeah we'll do that as well you have gained a hook yeah so we can get 10 here 10 here 10 here and 25 here so we'll do that Ransom accepted. Actually, I wonder if I can just... I cannot disband all my troops while I uh, am at war, it would seem. Ransom accepted. So let's do the next one. Uh, we will get all that money. Ransom. And we cannot do another one because they need to uh, agree first. And let's do the last one. So now that's dealt with, I think. Yeah, we only have these two now and they cannot be ransomed. So let's uh, end this war, enforce demands. Yeah. So the problem is he all, yeah, he, he automatically got this. So um, 
No, we have a problem. Um, can we can we here revoke his dodgy? What happens if we revoke his dodgy? So this is my dear brother. And the one thing I want to get away from him is this. Revoke title. We have a hook on him. Uh, not the dodgy. We want to get away from him the dodgy of Upper Burgundy. He will accept. All my subjects will lose 20 opinion, which is bad, but we really need that. Uh, use a hook. This doesn't really change anything, does it? No, it does not. Uh, this is an act of tyranny, causing the subjects to lose. Yeah. Uh, oh, we need to disband our army, disband all. Uh, we need to do that, so we are now in the green uh, or in the black with our money. And now we will actually revoke this. Uh, this might go horribly bad, but... So what kind of factions do we have here? We have... This one is somewhat close. Um, three members, so these three guys. He doesn't like us. Um, so they all don't like us. Who is the strongest in here? This one is the strongest, I think. And he doesn't like us at all. So um, actually, let's go ahead and um, try to sway him. Personal uh, diplomacy. Uh, I cannot sway him because I am not old enough. So, uh, what do we do here? Um, I will risk it. I will go to my brother and I will tell him, you know what? Uh, this stuff belongs to me, actually. <laughs> and I can get that, yeah. He will accept if I use a hook. Doesn't change anything, does it? It doesn't really change. I mean, he will accept either way. And... So, coming of age. Now I... Oh, I'm, ha I'm having a crown. <laughs> so, uh, I have achieved an understanding of stewardship that far exceeds that of any of my peers. Even though I had a natural in inclination towards the subject, my mastery of it is still an achievement. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I have become. The friendship I shared with Adelheid uh, meant a lot to me when we were both young, and to still have her by my side means a lot. Uh, so, I am now Midas touched, which is plus 8 stewardship. Yeah, that is fantastic. So, did I get this now? Let me have a look here. Did I... I need to unpause, of course. So I'm really... Yeah. I see no choice. He now hates us. But now we are back where we should be. Is that right? Now we have the Kingdom of Bern. The Duchy of Transuranie. The Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Bern, Neuchâtel, Argau, uh, Zurich, Besancon, Bress, and Dole. Phew! No lifestyle chosen. Now, what do we need to improve? Our uh, our stewardship is fantastic. Our all our other stats are quite good as well. Now, here's the thing. Actually, this seems to turn out not as bad as I feared. I mean, let's consider this. He is now 16 years old, which is very young. So he, if, if we can keep him healthy and um, not uh, not get him into any accidents, um, he, he might be around for quite a long time. Actually, he can be around for 50 years or something like that. Um, and he has very good stats here. And he is named Alexander. So you know what that name is? implies don't you <laughs> so i'm really wondering here if we should go with marshall i mean stewardship is good enough as it is so uh, we don't really need to deal with that intrigue i well i don't really see much need for intrigue right now and we can offset that with a good spy master uh learning is okay it's it's important but not the most important thing and diplomacy is actually quite good, so yeah, I think we really go with Marshall here. I mean, he would get the most out of uh, stewardship, but we can still switch later uh, because he has he has quite a uh, good bonus on this, so he will make fast progress there. So um, 
or we could no we will really go with Marshall here we will really go with uh, with Marshall so um plus 40 percent actually let's 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 have a look here um let's still have a look here holding taxes yeah we could we could got a lot of money going in the long run that would actually be better building construction time holding construction time stewardship then as administrator of course we could get diplomacy stewardship vassal opinion which is great um demand payment for hooks uh vassal tax contribution monthly income while at war um what else do we have here monthly income per stress level i mean arms maintenance per threat um republican ruler opinion no uh, i'm not really gonna go with that sell titles uh, what was the what was the last one here holding taxes plus 15 is actually not that bad collect taxes effectiveness uh building construction cost um fourth level building construction time levy reinforcement right development growth in realm a capital uh popular opinion domain limit you gain a trade architect um and what's that claim thrown we don't really need that so actually there's not so much good that much good stuff in there so we'll go with uh with marshall um so what do we want here we really want uh the one that gives us the most marshall and we'll go with that so now we need a we need a wife let's find a wife here um let's set a maximum age she shouldn't be too old uh let's go for a, for an age difference no actually let's not um adult not doesn't really matter if she's 15 she's still okay fertile health religion uh christianity uh swabian if possible uh, an inheritable trait so we already uh we already uh, have uh or left with just a few choices so he is a genius uh what can we get we can get intelligence intelligent intelligence she is of house geraldonen um so intelligent and house candy yeah, she's very young though so um our niece we should probably not do that we should probably not do that so we have a, a choice uh, she's beautiful she is um, 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 um what is she or who is she who is who is your parent uh parents count marquard of Bouillon. um how are you related parents you you pulled of piedmont mm -hmm. um and then if we go up there duke eckehart uh, duke reinhardt of savoy so at some point they, they they she's from the same line but um so she's beautiful um problem is she, she will probably get us a get us a lot of children which is a might be a problem <laughs> uh for inheritance again but um actually we could get that trade into our dynasty as well might be good actually because yeah no actually not what is that as amazonian uh this is a huge health boost um actually that's 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 even better additional prowess and a huge health boost we might get that into our dynasty so she's quite a bit younger but she will come around and um yeah now we could of course say it doesn't really need to be swabian um let's see if we central germanic group um so we have a lot of comely here we have hail which is not that bad um hail uh we have uh, robust it which is easy, even better so she is franconian she's robust she's closer to our age uh this is a medium health boost which is not bad um what else can we get we ha don't have another amazonian um central germanic group um and if we go for all uh do we get any other so there's an amazonian as well so so she is um what is she lollard french 
which is not that good. Um, but yeah, she's a Masonian, Herculean, so she's a little bit older. Um, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so we have her. She's robust. Um, then we have another genius here, but we are already have that gene, so uh, we might as well try for another one. Uh, robust. So where was the where was the other one who was close to our age? Gisela was it? Um, Catholic Franconian Gisela of Osterna. Uh, so robust. Um, uh, she had, actually yes, she has good traits. Um, House Osterna, watch over me. Eh? Okay. Actually, why not go for her? She's she's Catholic, she's Franconian, but that doesn't really matter that much. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get where is it? Uh, culture Central Germanic Group. So let's just make sure that's the one we saw before. Um, where is she? Yeah, Gisela. Gisela is it? So let's get Gisela von Osterna. So we'll accept. Uh, we both get prestige out of this. Um, yeah, actually, actually that's not too bad. We'll do that. So what else do we need to sort out here? Um, not endorsed by my archbishop. Uh, bishop uh, realm will lose lands, uh, which is this bit down here um you can declare wars yeah i know that powerful vassals expect council position yet yeah, it's always someone uh you're in uh duchy of tunis and duchy of lombardy um can imprison criminals prince dieter uh and i'm a leaguer although and i wouldn't know why i want to do that uh can change his contract which i will not do um so, what else can we do here? How are our vassals? Do we need to sort... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't see... I don't see how we can... Oh, Jesus Christ. There is a little bit of a problem here. Um, so now we can start swaying people. Um, so where are our factions here? So this is the most dangerous faction right there. So... Uh, We'll deal with that first. We'll sway him, which will have a good chance of succeeding. And let's just run that for a bit. Let's get our wife in here. Alliance formed. Uh, betrothal. So uh, this will need a bit. Can she already help us? No, she cannot. So we will wait for that to happen. Yeah, so we have a bunch of money uh, we, I will see what we can do with this money in terms of building between the episodes because uh, this takes a lot of time so we'll just focus on what uh, our next steps will be and I will just wait for my wife um, to uh, yeah get, another, get to adulthood uh, so there's a child of our dynasty born I don't really care about that uh, right now yeah so you became the culture of Swabe in culture? Yeah, I hope so. Um, did he change our... No, we are still uh, on Stamus Herzog Tomb, which is good. Yeah, uh, what else is going on here? What are our, what are our chancellors doing? So, so he is uh, religious relations, that's good. You are increasing development, which is also good. You are dom domestic affairs, yeah, that's really needed. And you hate us. Okay, so you are organizing the levies. Um, and you are disrupting schemes. That's all how it should be. So uh, we will not change anything there. So uh, how is our wife or our, our betrothed? So uh, yeah, it will take some time for her to uh, become our actual wife. Let's have a look at her. Okay, she has a few freckles there. She's humble, charming. She's also a twin. Oh. Oh, that's actually fantastic. She is also a twin. I didn't really realize that, but that's great. That is great. So, so I am a twin. She's a twin. So we are all twins. That's great. And what's also great because of our high uh, um, um, stewardship, we have, a, we have a high domain limit, which means we can 
Uh, hold on to a few more, more counties if um, necessary. So can we ransom someone here? Uh, actually, you know what? Negotiate release. Uh, demand conversion actually. Negotiate. So um, faction created against me. Prisoners released. Uh, what else? Greetings. Yeah, farewell. Um, what the hell? So let's see about our factions. So we have a ton of factions. But uh, the most dangerous one is this one with this guy here at its head so um but we have a bunch of money so we can bribe people we can raise um we can raise mercenaries if uh, if needed so i don't really feel that bad about these factions um yeah so our wife will become our wife in a moment we are in december and she was born in december somewhere i saw so now what is this yeah Convert the betrothal into a marriage. She's now full age. She is not really good at anything, which is bad. Uh, she's a great eminent, so she's good at diplomacy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, we will accept some proposal. Excellent. So she's now our queen. She does look a little bit pathetic, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we will uh, now go to our council and see what can she do assist ruler so yeah just assist ruler um this gives us a little bit of everything this gives us actually a total of six which is more than any one of these will give us so um well, we'll, we'll just go with that assist ruler okay so because oh look at these stats these are great and if we get our marshal up wedding celebration uh, with my marriage to Queen Gisela, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extra extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal, royal aid duty as part of this, but uh, some may consider this tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Of course I will collect it who pays for their own wedding, I will gain quite a bunch of money. I will I'll let my subjects enjoy the festival without worry or care. Uh, I gained a lot of prestige actually from this, so we'll do that. Now uh, I gained a level of fame. Uh, what's that? Available Dynasty Legacy. Yes! Yes! So we have 2000 Renown. So we can... Um, we can actually buy one of these or two of these. So what do we want? Chance of reinforcing congenic... Congen Congenital traits. Um, ah, of reinforcing. Uh, okay. Uh, we are already geniuses, so we don't really need that. Oh, what's that? Monthly piety. Mm -hmm. uh, the red gain, popular opinion, plus five. Uh, no, not popular opinion. What's that? Prowess, Knight Effectiveness plus 15, which is not bad. Desirable match, marriage acceptance, um, fertility. So what 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 if we go down here? What is what is going to happen here? Uh chance of new bad minus minus. Oh that's actually we can strengthen our blood uh, our bloodline here. Oh, that's actually not bad. Uh, what else? Hostile skin success chance, monthly intrigue, uh, monthly tyranny, mage. Okay. Uh, control growth, lifestyle experience, uh, opinion. Yeah, plus five is not that good. Domain limit plus one. Uh, case of belly. Um, advantage. Uh, arms regiments. Uh, monthly prestige plus. 10 um, lifestyle experience short rain duration minus 20 general opinion plus 10 um, yeah um, what's that that we already have spouse opinion plus 10 actually I think the best one is this with the bloodline so uh, we'll actually do that unlock this one the bloodline one is the best so we'll go with that yeah, and I think this is a good point to um, 
call it a day uh, because well uh, there was quite a bit of stuff happening we um, actually let me try to get rid of her actually can we so there is our brother here and uh, we'll see can I grant vassal and I want to grant this one here um, So a duchess cannot be a vassal of a duke. Oh, I got it wrong. We are, yeah, we are a king, so we can be, uh, he, we can be uh, the leash of of him, but um, or of her, but uh, now we cannot transfer. Yeah, that's a problem there. How the hell? So, do you have any heirs? You do not have any heirs, actually. Um, yeah, you have an heir, so I want BT. But he doesn't have an heir, so uh, where is he actually? Unlanded. Okay, so she does have an heir. How can we get... I would have to revoke that title. Can, can I revoke that title from her? What will be the consequence of this? Uh, revoke title. I will only... This one. So now, of course, everyone will lose opinion, which is not good. She is very young though, so maybe we can get our opi the opinion of our vassals up and then deal with that. So can we we can hold a feast, we, which we will do in the next episode. So we really need to work on improving um, the opinion of our vassals because they really don't like us. Uh, why is that? He wants to see it on the council, but he he isn't going to get one because yeah well he, he wouldn't be a bad steward actually uh ooh, who do we have as a steward here um where's our steward so we have him 18 um no he has yeah he has 4000 troops as well so it doesn't really matter that much um yeah so he doesn't like us because he wants to be on the council uh, so the short reign um so the opinion of the predecessor wasn't too good but that will clear re really fast it's a uh, plus six five a year uh do you have the same no he he actually liked the predecessor um tyrant so i'm a tyrant for some reason oh yeah i know why yeah, because i revoked the title of my brother um title claimant uh high taxes high taxes can i change that uh, modify feudal contract. Yeah, actually, I can do that. Um, have Prince Dieter's obligations have already been changed. When? Um, I don't get it. I mean, yeah, at some point this was changed, but oh, okay, it's not bound to uh, who changed it, but to who was it changed upon uh, okay so we will have to wait until he dies or something like that um okay that's weird i don't i don't i don't get why we can't just change his contract i really don't get that but yeah so it's what it is so we'll have to we'll, we'll, we, we will hold a feast and we will see about some bribes if uh, that doesn't work um if that doesn't get uh, all of the vessels in line because the one thing i really want to do here is um i want to change the su 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 succession law to partition uh, the only thing that's holding us back here is that not all all our uh, vassals um yeah that not all our vassals uh like us so um, that is a problem and it's actually quite a big problem. How? What is with this guy? Uh, pain of predecessor. So that will clear out. But yeah, we will have a lot. We have a lot of work to do here. We have a lot of work to do here. Uh, how does prestige factor into this distinguished plus five? Yeah, we need to get our prestige up. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of work to do, and I think the next episode will be spent on improving the relation with our vassals maybe we can do some conquering but uh, i will mostly focus on our vassals actually because we really need to uh, get their opinion up as fast as possible so we don't have to deal with factions and also so that we can um that we can change our succession law uh, because i really think we'll need that 
at some point so yeah that was it for today's episode i hope you liked it if you did please leave a like below and i hope i see you next time until then i wish you a good time and i hope you stay healthy and stay safe and yeah we'll be back for more empire of burn and see how or if alexander can if alexander can uh, step into the footsteps of his uh, famous namesake yeah until then bye